Welcome back to another episode. This week we show you what it takes to get this generator ready to roll for when we're back on the water. YouTube doesn't always show how long things actually take in real time, but here on Catalpa we like to keep it as real as possible. So let's get into it. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Okay, so we've just got off the boat and for the next three days, this is our home. We just arrived and it's absolutely beautiful. Have a look at the view. Look at the view before it gets dark. This is where we'll be spending Christmas this year. This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you, so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Memories. Three days here that have been really, really nice, just relaxing and having some space and like just chilling. So special thank you to Chuck and Deborah for letting us stay for Christmas. We really, really appreciate it. Happy New Year's everyone. Hope you had an awesome holidays. Our New Year's was pretty quiet and we got straight back into boat jobs because we're trying to get back out on the ocean again. But if you'd like to see a recap of 2023, then you can head over to Bella's channel. Bella made an excellent video about our 2023. Go and check it out and subscribe and like and give us some love. Okay guys, let's get back outside and back into these boat jobs. All right, the generator has moved places. Temporary lift we're made up at the back of the boat. Just using the two lifting points here. I'm actually limited on shackles, I didn't realise. But I've just found some of these and I've used a bit of chain. I've got a block. And we're gonna use the boom to get it up to the deck. But I need to get this into the cradle first, into the housing. So we're just gonna work at the back of the boat here. And I can lift this off and into the, the housing. Something like this, it should lift up. There we go. That's gonna work. Hopefully the uh, main boom's got enough. I'll run two lines to the back of the boom and we'll do a lift up into the boat. And it's, it's just gonna be a real hard handle to get this down into the engine bay. It's gonna be easy to get onto the deck. It's gonna be hard to get it pretty much from the deck. The man handle it through the companion way. Might be able to rig a block up somehow to lower it down the companion way. And then to get it through our kitchen and into the, into the engine room, it's gonna be a challenge. You're up for it though? Not really. Who's up for a challenge, honey? Need to <laughs> blow these up a bit. Maybe lift it in. I need to make my base up in the engine bay first and get that aligned. That's why the housing's up in the engine bay. So I can sort of work out where I want it to fit. And then once the engine comes in, in its housing, it's a straight fit to where I want it. So we're doing a little practice fit at the moment up top with the housing and uh, capsule whatever you want to call it and then uh, once that's right I've got to lift this up and play with replacing new engine mounts and that I thought while it's out we'll do that the engine mounts were looking really sad replace them and fingers crossed we can get it in lifting the motor up allowed us to get better access to the engine mounts 
to check other parts and to wire brush off some of the flaky paint and rusty spots. After it was cleaned up, Lee then applied rust converter. We continue to prepare the floor that the gen set would sit on in the engine bay. Okay, so that's gonna be our place for the gen set. I don't wanna push it too far over that side. So I've got an oil filter at the back there. Got my exhaust that'll run out this side and through to the back of the boat. I've got access to my wiring harness here and then I'm gonna mount the electrical box up the, over the top of it here. Reasonable access right around it. I've got enough room to get through. I've actually got a scupper drain with a, a valve just below there. So I've made sure I've got enough room to get to my valve. So now I'm just gonna make a bit of a um, base here and uh, strengthen it up and that's where she's gonna live at the moment. The engine's not inside, so I'm trying to do all the mounting and centering and getting it all lined up where I want it without the engine in there. I've got to take this downstairs, re-insulate it. It was all pretty sad, the insulation. So I've got some new insulation to run inside here, the base and the whole lot. Well, let's go with a little clean up. It's a bit dirty now because it was done a little while ago. It's come up all right. It's going to look a treat. All right. Darling, mm -hmm. on that table there should be some small bolts, black bolts, small ones. Oh no, it is the long ones. I'm going to have to chop them down the size if I don't have... Okay, I don't need them. They're all good to go. There go, inside from the motor to here. That's replacing all those. There's any other bolts out there? Long ones. There's only long ones? Yeah. I'm just sort of getting an idea where everything's gonna sit. It's easy for me to lift this around and while well, there's no engine in there and get all my holes right. So the hard thing about being down here is we have to order a lot of things and, and we do a, a run up to Phoenix, but that only happens about once a month. So if we forget something or you order the wrong thing, it's a bit of a pain. Well, it's not that they don't have nuts and bolts down here, but we've got metric and in imperial, so metric's harder to get down here in Mexico. I'm sure it's here. It's like everything. It's just, it's just harder to source all these things if it's not the norm. is going to be. Next job, we put new sound installation into the base. It was a sticky job. Even though it was getting dark, we were determined to keep going. All right, we've put the lights on, but <laughs> that's it. It's too cold out here. It's time to go inside. There's only so many hours in the day. The next morning, Lee was straight back into it and he started with replacing the new engine mounts and then painted the parts we cleaned up the day before. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll help you. That's it. It's had a little bit of love. This is all rusted and obviously the raw water pumps there and all that was rusted. I just sort of blackened it given it a coat of engine paint all over. Got new 
rubbers on here. The engine mounts are all worn out, so I've replaced all the engine mounts, given it a little tidy up. Still a little bit to do, not much, but at least we can just get it in the boat now. Um, I've still obviously got to do a full service, change the oil filter, fuel filter, but I'll wait till it's all plumbed up and running and then give it a service. We know it all works, we know it gives us our power. We just got to get mounts, get it back in the housing. It was ripped out really roughly, so engine mounts were broken. As we know, it was a big mess. The wiring looms were just all snipped and I've had to sort of work with that and I'll tidy that all up once it's in the boat. Uh, it's missing, still missing a temperature sensor, which we ran without the temperature sensor. I just put a cork in there. Otherwise, we'll throw an impeller in, oil filter, fuel filter, and we'll give it one last little tidy up. Spin it. <laughs> While Lee mounted the genset into the base, Bella and I put the insulation into the top part of the genset case. What we're going to do is we're just going to lift this up. Sarah's going to move out the cradle underneath. We're just going to lie down our engine floor. And I've made up some mounts, some engine mounts for the actual whole unit to sit on. I thought while it's out here, we'll just do a little test fit. So if any little adjustments need doing, it's a lot easier out here than in the engine bay. The fun, the fun job, getting it up into the boat. Actually getting it up will be easy, but getting this thing into the engine bay. How heavy is it, honey? I don't know the exact weight of it, but I know two people struggled to lift it. So it's gonna be a really slow, well thought out task getting this into the engine bay, uh, step by step. First one up onto the um, side of the boat, and then we've got it through, get it into the cockpit. Then we've got to get it down the companion way into the kitchen, then into the engine bay, and then position where we want it. We've got the sea chest out at the moment, as you know, we're redoing all that anyway, so that gives us a lot more room in the engine bay. Actually gives us enough room that I'd like no sea chest, because it's so roomy in there without it. But um, that's the hardest task, I think, is just getting it into the engine bay from um, the saloon area, just because of the weight and the try and lift it in an awkward position it's when you usually hurt yourself to awkward lifts so we may have to set something up i don't know yet we'll sort of just take our time and somehow work our way in using pulleys and whatnot wherever we can don't worry macgyver will have it all under control and just some final little alterations before it gets a coat of varnish and ready to move into the engine bay then we lift the gen set up and onto the boat
close to the Taj as you can. Yeah. Is it coming down good? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. It's on. Good job. That's so too good. easy. That was stressful. No, I just don't want anyone to get hurt. It's so clean. It's on the deck. How good. Attempt to uh, relocate the generator from the side deck and it's going to be like a three, four stage process. We're going to the cockpit and then we're going to bring it down our companion way and then we're going to bring it round into the uh, engine bay. Not sure how it's going to go. I've rigged up a bit of a pulley off the boom so that'll get us up onto the deck or onto the cockpit seat made a chain up to go to the boom or to the mast through the cockpit and hopefully that can lower it down the companion way all right so we've done the first lift which wasn't too much it was just getting it off the deck up onto here we're going to try i can't get the boom over because we've got the cover so i'm going to just try and angle it down to the seat or to the floor and then we're going to run a chain through our bimini or our dodger to the front of the boom where it connects to the mast and then I'm going to try and connect it to the end of the boom down here and then we're going to reattach this onto the chain and work our way down. Alright, we'll see how we go. I'm going to control the line and the guys can uh, manhandle this down. I'll take the weight. It's sort of got to pull a bit at the same time. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So keep pushing out, Taz. And now I'm going to slowly lower it. probably reattach this line here onto the chain we're going to set the chain up through here get it down to the floor and work our way down you say you leave it loose can you undo um, you undo that okay watch fingers underneath I just want to try and get the weight onto the okay lift with the rug I'm going to re tie it up over there. And we can probably m m half manhandle this onto there. Yeah. We're going. A bit more. And okay, hold there. I'm just going to pivot, drop the back end down, and lift this end up. Yeah, the biggest thing we don't want is jerks on anything. Pull it to you, darling. Now, ever so slowly, steady, you got it? Yeah. It's all good? Okay, so just. Don't let that your feet under that belt. Nice and steady. And we're just going to clear that. That's all. Let me know when it's there. Made it down the companion way, and now we've got to make our way through to the kitchen and into the engine bay. So we've got to try and work out how we're going to get a little bit of leverage from above which I do have a little port up here that needs replacing anyway. It's all hazed. It's just like an engine port. So when you're up in the cockpit, you can see your engine room. I suppose keep an eye on your engine. See if there's a fire, you know, all those sort of things that go on in the engine. Maybe water peeing out everywhere. There's lots that can go on in these when you're underway. So that's what that's there for. But I'm going to take that out and maybe put a bar across it and put a block on top of that. And that's going to give us like a little bit of a pendulum through here. So we don't have any floor here. It's gonna make it hard. We've got um, this in the road, plus we've got two Raycors. I gotta just get them out of the road and reinstall them once we get it in. I'm hoping it's just a pendulum effect and then we can mount over here. I've cut some new holes in the floor because once this goes down, I just wanted access to, I've got pipes and stuff here. Um, before we do it, I'm going to lift this floor up anyway and just take a couple of photos. I do have access to it, but it's always helpful if you want to run wires or do anything just to know what's there. I'm going to lift this floor up in a second and take a photo and then I'm going to put it down and that's going to be it. That floor is going to stay down for a long time, hopefully. Just while it's up, what I usually do is uh, I get the old phone out and I just take a few shots and I'll put them in my um, file of... Uh, cavities on the boat because if I want to run a wire or run a pipe or something's leaking at a later date it's just handy if this is not going to be accessible once I put this down to see what's underneath in this case there's nothing there's our big Roco water accumulator and that's about it and we've just got lines going for shower and whatnot so 
I'm gonna put this down, that'll all be bolted. I just um, also reinforced the floor a little bit. I did a, couldn't, I didn't pull out the chisel, I used the old oscillating tool and just uh, notched out. So I'll put a few extra blocks in here. This has been doubled up. That should take the weight of it. We've got our floor and then we've got our blocks and um, our engine mounts on that. So I'm gonna fasten all this down and let's get rolling. How am I going to get to that? Oh, that's hard. I want to slide on. Oh, nice. Push this end around this way, Bell. With everything, your fingers, just when you're moving stuff, you always be ready for if it slides somewhere, you don't put your hands. It's called a pinch point. A little bit more, Taz, just a real little bit. A little, uh, Okay, stop. It's gonna drop a bit, Bell, so watch your fingers. Okay, a little bit less, Taj, and then exactly down the, the hole. hole. Oh, I don't know. <coughs> that's gotta come up enough so that it's on this, and that'll come in. Because I've done a dry run with this, and that's how it worked. Okay, loose now. Yep. Can we take it? Just slowly. Yeah, yeah. A bit more. Well, hold it there for a second. We've got a hand tape. Okay, slowly go up. Do not let go, the weight's on it now. Just lift a little bit, Taj. All right, so we've done all the lifting we can with the pen, with the, what do you call that thing? With the block. And it's only gonna be moved about 10 centimeters, 30 centimeters, but that last 30 centimeters is gonna be a little bit challenging. What's the plan, Captain? Don't know. All right, we'll get the other muscle. Bring in the muscle. Lift, lift higher. Okay. Come towards me. Yep. Ready? Hold on, hold on. Okay, stop there. So I don't want to lift the whole thing. Let's just try and lift a half at a time. So let's try and get it up onto a block. Got to go up before yep. we go across. <laughs> Did I think it? You went too far. Okay, stop there. Are we on all yeah. four? Yeah. Now we just got to get toward that way with the whole. You just like grab it and go. Okay, ready? <laughs> you thought you did that, Bella? <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? It's in. It's in. Woo! High five! Teamwork makes the uh, dream work. Hanging. Yeah, team. That was hard. <laughs> you see those holes, Bella, on your side? Are they all lined up? All right, guys. I think we're going to call that. It's done. It's a new home. You get it to this stage and think that's it, but I still have to contend with the wiring loom. As we know, it's just a big pile of wires that uh, I've either got to make a proper wiring harness. That was just a temporary one to test the unit out. I may see if I can source a proper wiring harness yet, but even to this stage, there's still a lot more time in it. Like, I've got to run an exhaust line to the back of the boat, and you know, you've got to go through each cabinet and find its path. It's just time, guys, with boats. So, yeah, if you can get one that's already got a generator in there ready to roll, I'd say do that. Otherwise, stay tuned and bits and pieces in to tie this job off. Let us know if you want to see that. If you've seen enough of the generator, tell us. We won't post it. If you want to see more, let us know in the comments down below. But this is it for this episode. That's it. I've had enough for today. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.